Dick Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary, Maury Amsterdam, Larry Matthew, and Mary Tyler Moore. Where's my coat? Nobody's to blame. It's just some kind of crazy mistake. Yes, right. and what, we did, what happened was when we first got here, that was a mistake. How much do I owe? Ten oh, bucks? You don't owe me anything. Look, Look, I pay. Even when I get taken, I pay. There's ten bucks. I knew I couldn't lose that way legitimately. Nobody is that unlucky. And nobody is that lucky. Go on, Beth, we're going. Oh, Beth? Well, nice meeting you, folks. <laughs> Look at all the fun I missed. And I, like a dope, went to the dog show. Did you win anything? No. <laughs> hey, uh, what was going on? Who was that? Oh, his name is Lou Gregory, and he's a very ungracious man. Hi, Sally. Oh. A little suspicious, too. Hi, Sally. Well, you can't blame him. He used to be an assistant district attorney. Hi, Sal. <laughs> but what was he doing here? He's a patient of Jerry's, and we invited him over for a nice, friendly evening. Hi, Sal. Oh. See, he and I, Richie are in the same class. Oh. Boy, I hope this doesn't get back to school. I mean, Richie's just going to be mortified. What get back to school? What's the difference? He always introduces his father as Willie Sutton. Why? <laughs> Look, how do you think I feel? It's worse to be called a crook than a son of a crook. Called <laughs> you crook? He didn't really call you crook. Yes, he did. He just thinks Rob is a crook. Well, why did he think he was a crook? Well, because he accused Rob of slipping a deck of marked cards into our poker game. Mark cards? Well, why would he think that? Because that's what Rob did. Yeah. <laughs> and Rob won a lot of money playing with his own marked deck. Hey, Rob, is this true? Two of clubs. Five of spades. Eight of hearts. Jack of diamonds. Deliberately, do you? Why would I use marked cards to win ten dollars? Well, it's easier than sticking up a live chicken market. <laughs> well, yeah, you could have robbed Richie's piggy bank, you know. Now look, you guys. Even in fun, I don't like that kind of talk. Now you know Rob didn't mean to cheat. I didn't cheat. Oh, look. Is somebody gonna tell me what's going on, or do I have to hear the dirty version from the kids in the street? <laughs> Well, it's simple. We're playing poker in Rob's house with Rob's marked cards, and we all lose and he wins. Buddy, that's not fair. Well, I know, but I figure if I insult him, maybe he'll tell us the whole truth and nothing but. Look, if I don't get all the gory details of this, I'm going back to the dog show. You still won't win anything. Oh, shut up. Actually, Sally, none of this would have happened if I had just left Rob alone with his magic. You Hold see, the phone! What magic? Well, you know, Rob does magic. Honey, yes, right? will you please well, let was... me explain? I like to handle my own case, if you don't mind. All that happened was that Jerry and Millie invited those Gregories over here to play poker tonight. Yeah. Well, just before everybody arrived, I was in the kitchen. I was showing Richie some magic. Watch carefully. It gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it rolls up into a very small ball. And we take our magic wand, tap it twice, and it's gone. It's in the other hand. Nope, all gone. How do you like that? Now, where's my other? Oh. oh. Hey! <laughs> okay. How did you do that, Daddy? How did you do that? Well, watch this very closely. Watch this handkerchief. What are you going to do with it? I am going to blow my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd my little red ball go there, Rich? Oh, here it is. You have to watch it closely now. What's going to happen? It's going to disappear. All gone. And there it is, in the joint. <laughs> it also has another property. If you roll it softly like that, it gets warmer and softer and softer until finally it's gone. See? All gone. And I find it right down there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now comes the really hard magic part. How many balls? One, two. Two balls, right? Both solid balls, right? Okay, now how many? Three. There's three balls there. One, two, three. Now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to throw it away. I'm going to reach in my pocket and there it is. Now here's the hard part because these balls are slippery. Okay, how many balls? Four. 
four balls, right. Well, not until you're old enough to master it, Rich. Mom, you better get ready. It's 8 o'clock. Oh, and will you get some ice out? I got the ice. Oh, well, then would you please? <laughs> Isn't there something I'm old enough to master? Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is, Rich. Oh, man, I don't know why you won't start these things at bedtime. Well, honey, it's a good way to bribe him into bed. <laughs> if I show you this, will you go to bed, Rich? Uh-huh. See? Well, I don't approve, but I'm too busy to moralize. Who asked you? Can <laughs> you please Bob? get the ice out? Okay, I'll get the ice out. Now, Rich, with this deck, see? The backs all look the same, all blue. Mm -hmm. See those little wheels on there? Uh -huh. With this deck, I can tell you any card you pick out of the deck. You can? Yeah. All right, pick a card, any card. Huh? That is the King of Hearts. How did you know? Well, you're... Father happens to be gifted with extrasensory perception and x-ray eyes, that's all. Really, Daddy? Yeah, besides that, I marked the cards. <laughs> you marked it? Yeah, I'll show you. See on the back here, see this wheel here? Uh -huh. There are 13 spokes in the wheel, right? Uh -huh. That's one for every card. A straight up, the next is the one, two, three, and right on around. Now, the other wheel here is for the suits. It's straight up at 12 o'clock is spades. Three o'clock is diamonds, six o'clock is hearts, and clubs is over here at nine o'clock. You see that? Uh-huh. Okay, now, what I want you to do, Rich, is show me if you can do the trick. Now, take it. Okay. Remember what I told you. Pick a card, any card. Okay, I'll take a card. What is it, kid? It's the one, two, three. <laughs> the three of hearts. Right. See, now you can do a trick. Can I keep these cards? Well, those are not for playing games with, Rich. Those are just magic cards for tricks. Ralph, what do I have to do? Richie should have been in bed a half an hour ago. Now, will you please? Say no more, Rich. Let's show him the vanishing boy trick. Okay. Say good night, boy. Good night, Mommy. Good night, sweetie. Okay, here we go, Rich. Abracadabra, Alakazam, Presto Changeo, Richie's gone. Where'd he go? Good night. Oh. <laughs> now, come on, Ralph. Let's up to it, huh? What are you so nervous about? We got neighbors coming over, that's all. Yeah, but we don't know two of those neighbors, and I'd like to make a nice impression. With those legs and that dress, you've got to make a nice impression. Oh. <laughs> After they finish applauding me, I'd like to know that the rest of the evening is going to go well. You know, I don't think Jerry's idea of playing poker is such a good idea. Oh, come on, honey. I haven't played poker in, I bet you, five years now. Yeah, well, Besides, poker's a good way to get to break the ice with people. Probably be raided. They don't raid Penny Annie games. Darling, would you get the ice out? <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> Magic, that's all. Well, I didn't think anything of those cards, and I left them right in the bar. And we didn't even plan on playing poker, but it was suggested as a good way of getting to know each other. Well, who suggested it? Jerry did. I've always heard that the best way to get to know people is to play charades or poker with them. I wish we'd played charades. Hey, Laura, these are the same cards we played with last week. How do you know? Because there's a coffee stain on the sick. Hey! <laughs> hey, come on, Mr. D.A., in or out? I'm a former D.A. I don't want your credentials, I want your money. <laughs> I'm thinking. Well, don't overdo it. Oh, Lou, don't take it so seriously. It's just a game. There's no other way to take it. It's how you play the game. It doesn't matter if you win or lose. As long as you wind up at the end of the evening with all the money. <laughs> all right, I'm in. Rob? Well, I'll have to stay. What do you say, buddy? I say I should have stayed home and played Crazy Eights with pickles. <laughs> well, uh, fellas, I have three queens. How do you like that? I had jacks over ten. Take the money, Miss D.A. What'd you have, Rob? Three sixes. Three sixes? After that hard luck story? Oh, did you get the way he tried to bluff us? <laughs> hey, Rob, don't, don't quit now. You're just beginning to lose. I'll be right back. <laughs> New shoes are killing my feet. I'm going to go put on my lucky slippers. What are you going to do, shuffle the cards with your toes? <laughs> your deal, Laura. Hey, how about a little three-card Barrington? Three-card Barrington? How do you play that? You just deal three cards. Red nine's a wild. Seven of clubs is high. Low card passes. Ace nine, six, four of all suits is Barrington. And that's when you win? No, that's when everybody gets up and walks around a chair. <laughs> well, how do you, how do you win? Well, while everybody else is walking around the chairs, I grab the money. <laughs> Didn't you drop a card, Laura? Oh. Ah, Laura, he caught you. 
Listen, Jerry, if I were going to cheat, I'd be a little more subtle. Well, some Sharpies operate that way, you know. Oh, look what I did. I put my heel right through it. Mm. Well, listen, I have another deck of Richie's, if you don't mind playing with that. Well, Laura, Sorry. my goodness, what difference does it make? Every deck has the same 53 cards. 52 bad. <laughs> Wait, you don't count the Joker? Not in this game, dear. Oh, well, then I'll stop waiting for it. Yes, but... <laughs> DA, did you find many of those Mississippi Riverboat types operating in the suburbs? Well, there were some. Yeah, but they don't do too good anymore. You know, with the high silk hat and cutaway coat and torn away pants, it's a dead giveaway. <laughs> Unfortunately, today's card sharp usually wears button-down collar and striped tie. Here he is now, Gaylord Ravenel Petrick. Well, I thank you all very kindly. I want you to notice there's nothing up my slipper. <laughs> oh, I always advise people never to play cards with anybody excepting their friends. In that case, I pass. <laughs> I can't open. Oh, I can't either. Can anybody open? Oh, well, I guess I'll have to. Oh, he'll have to. Do you get that? Oh, oh I guarantee you he got him. Okay, what do you say, folks? Buddy says I got him. I say I don't. Am I honest or am I not? I'm in. Hmm? Yeah. Give me three cards, Laura. Three for Jerry. I think I'll try my new system. Give me two. Two for the lady with the new system. Three darling ones for me, please. Three darling ones for Beth. I'll take two. Uh, how do you want them, Lou? Don't be cute, dear. <laughs> darling. I'll take three. Three. I'll take three. I'm drawing to an inside straight. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, start with a dime. Mm-hmm. Think we can trust this guy? Well, I'm married to him, and I don't believe a thing he says in poker. Well, in that case, I call a dime and raise a nickel. That'd be 15 cents to me, huh? Well, I fold. Well, I've got to believe you, too. I fold. Let me see your cards, honey. I fold. What do you mean you fold? What happened to your new system? That's my system. Addy up, take two cards and fold. <laughs> I'll see you. Hey, me too. You? Made it, fellas. Nine, ten, jack, queen, ace. <laughs> what happened to your king? You must have abdicated. Boy, I better get my glasses after. <laughs> well, it's up to you and me, Rob. Let's see what kind of poker player you are. I've got a flush, ace, high. In fact, that's kind of pretty. Oh, I have here a... Uh... Pair of kings? Oh, that's not that. And I have another pair of kings. Down in Memphis, we call that four of a kind. Boy, that's pure luck. Luck, why, sir? Down on the old Mississippi, we call that no hair. Will you stop gloating? Oh, I said it was no hair. You know what that means, don't you? That means that you folks tonight ain't got no chance, no hair. Rob, how could you not know that you were using marked cards? I just, I just thought I was on a lucky streak. I mean, I was on a lucky streak. Well, how come this Lou didn't notice that they were marked cards? I mean, he's an ex-DA, isn't he? Yeah, well, Lou didn't expect it. Yeah, he thought he was playing with decent people. Millie! <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah we all know what you mean. Let's just hope you haven't lost me a patient, Rob. Hey, look, I may have lost my standing in the community. Oh, well, don't worry. You can always give cheating lessons. <laughs> Cards for money. I told you we should have played charades, but no. Back to the game. What happened? For two solid hours there, I could do no wrong, no how. How did it finally come out that the cards were marked, and who gave you away? Who do you think? Give me those deuces, and give me those trays, give me those aces. That's the way I play. Just put your money right in the pot. I'll take it home, and thanks a lot. <laughs> ah, shut up, Rob. <laughs> All we need is a floor show at the card game. Oh, delicious. I need one more card, and that's it, Mel Lee. Can you deal those cards? I want to run away with you to Pango Pango. And I won't stand in your way. <laughs> Are you going there, you little fortune hunter, you? Ah! Whoop! Hip up, Rob. Things will get better. Yeah. Well, I've heard that before. This is the last hand. I've had it. Hey, come on, well, you can't quit now. It's your chance to get even. It's the last hand. That means the stakes are double and there's and there's no limit on the last card. You can be a winner. <laughs> you are miserable when you're happy. <laughs> Lou, darling, you are first, please. Yeah, I'll open. That's spirit, Lou. I'll make it easy on you. Only raise a dime. Mommy, I'm in. I can't sleep. Oh, honey, you want a glass of water? Oh, well, this is Mr. and Mrs. Gregory. This is our little boy, Richie. Oh, Lou, isn't he a darling child? Yeah. <laughs> you winning, Daddy? Naturally rich. Can I stay up and watch? 
much a little? No, sir. You've got school tomorrow morning. You've got to get back to bed. Oh, honey, come on. Let him stay up a few more minutes. Well, all right. Just for a little while. How many cards, Rob? I can't make up my mind. Shall I keep this one or shall I throw it away? Throw it away, Daddy. It's just an old ace of spades. <laughs> Rich, give me a kiss and go to bed. Well, you just said I could stay up. You stayed up. Now go to bed. Well, Charlie, I did tell him I could stay up. Well, I know, honey, but I didn't mean what I said. Go to bed, Rich. Come on, Rob, you're holding up the game. That's the word. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. I just can't concentrate with a child in here in the room. <clears throat> What? What wheels? Uh, he's got his eye on a new bike. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement to make. I just broke up a pair of queens to go for a straight. If this is another queen, I'll shoot myself. Well, Uncle Jerry, you got another queen. You gonna shoot yourself? He's <laughs> <laughs> a, a clever kid. Rob? Hey, you know something? <laughs> this is fun. I love getting together just for an evening of pleasure with everyone. <laughs> Honey, get him out of here. Oh, no, 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 Laura, you stay right here. I'll tell you what, Rob, why don't you uh, get the kid a drink of water and show me where the beer is? Huh? Well, I'll get you a drink of water and show the kid where the beer is. Yeah, let's go. Hey, big drink. Huh? Put your cards back oh, on the table. Oh, how stupid of me. Let's get a drink of water. Water, Richie. Rob, Rob, how come that card, the card I just saw, how did he know what it was? It's a good trick, isn't it, Uncle Jerry? What kind of a trick, kid? It tells on the backs of the cards. A mark deck? Yeah, I'm afraid so. It's my magic deck. Get your water. You mean to tell me you've been playing poker with a mark deck? Yeah, but I didn't know it. Believe me, Jerry. You mean it was just a coincidence that you've been winning all the hands? Well, yes. Well, you know that Gregory's have dropped about ten bucks. They're not going to believe it was a coincidence. Well, it is a coincidence. Listen, I was winning before we started using this deck. No, 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 you were not. You didn't start winning until Laura ruined that first deck accidentally on purpose. At least that's how it looks. Did Mommy do something naughty? No, kid, your mother would never do anything naughty. Well, neither would your father. Rich, look, it's a little complicated. Somehow our magic deck got in the card game. That's all. Get your water. This <laughs> is Rob, it is hard to believe that you've been getting all those winning hands without reading the backs of those cards. I don't know. Maybe subconsciously I was reading. But your conscious is winning all the money. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Well, I'll just lose it all back to him consciously right now. Come on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How can you do that? This is the last hand. What have you got? I got a full house, three aces and two kings. <laughs> Look, all I'll do, I'll get the pot up and I'll fold my cards. Lou's got the win. He's got three eights to, to, to uh, Laura's pair. I thought you didn't look, huh? <laughs> oh, well, I probably noticed it just when Richie did that. You believe me, don't you, Jerry? Of course I believe you, but, but the Gregories don't love you like I do. <laughs> it's very simple. I'm just going to give all the money back. I'll... Up the ante and fold my cards, that's all. But that's cheating, Daddy. Look, Richie, when you cheat to win, that's naughty. But when you cheat to lose, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Steve, you want some more water? No, please, Daddy. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, wish me luck. Bad luck. <laughs> Just uh, say goodnight, Rich. That's all. Just good night. Good night, everybody. Yeah. Good night. Bad luck, Daddy. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, go to bed. All right, now can we play a little poker? Come on. Okay, where, where, where are we? We were waiting for you. Oh, well, I'll take three cards. You can't take three cards, Rob. You've already drawn. Oh, well, I'll, I'll just lose with... I'll just play with these. You know I'm a big bluffer anyway. Well, I didn't know that. Now I'm out, he tells me. Come on, Rob, it's your bet. Oh, last game, a no limit. Okay, I'll bet a, I'll bet a half, a, half a dollar. Isn't this hand getting a little steep? Last hand right here? We all poker players or not? Oh, all right. I call a half a dollar and raise a quarter. I don't know. Well, she knows. She knows. She's in. She's in. Uh -huh. 75 cents to me, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But take the money, Petri. It's useless. Well, I... No, you can't, Lou. I mean, it's the last hand, you, and you opened. All right, I'll stay one more round. 75 cents. Okay, and I'll raise that a dollar. <laughs> you raise a dollar? He just talked me into staying in, and he raises a dollar. Petri, you, you pulled every trick in the book. What's next? Now, now listen, Lou. Well, why don't you stay? Maybe you'll win. You want half my action? Sure, why yeah. not? No, no, I don't. No, did you ever get the feeling that your host is sucking you into a pot? Not me. Well, I'll see you lose and raise your dollar. Oh, that's nice. You keep it in the family. And there's my dollar. You're raising a dollar? Well, I don't have to. Yeah, you have to. Yes, you do, honey. Well, no, I don't. Yes, you do. A bet is a bet is a bet. 
Seems hopeless. Last hand, Lou. Come on, this is your chance now. I feel it in my bones. This is a loser. All right. Here's the two dollars. And I'll raise a dollar and I'm all in. Yeah, that's the way to go, Lou. See? You knocked me out. I bluffed. But <laughs> What's well, neither can I. What's the big mystery about it? I, I was bluffing, that's all. Worse, honey, it's loose. <laughs> no, it isn't. I see you, Lou, and raise you another dollar. Well, honey, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. Uh, three, three raise a limit. Three no, raise... sir, you said this hand has no limit. I'm out of money. I'm all in. Well, uh, uh, Lou, I'll, I'll lend you the money. No, 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 no. I have a rule. I only play with my own money. No, you don't have to pay me back at all. Lou's in. <laughs> Bob, who's 31? That's going to be my part. Lou, well, you're still in. I am not. I'm out. No, Lou, please, but this could be the one. Believe me, it could be it. I'm talking to you like a friend and a neighbor, Lou. And a mind reader. You let me play my own hand? Lou, take my money. Why? Why should I stay in? Because you got three eights. She's only got a pair. <laughs> Mark cards. Oh, my goodness. Oh. oh. There's a simple explanation for the... You know what must have happened. It's my magic it's, deck. Yeah. yeah. Magic is right. You just made your friends disappear. <laughs> a nice, friendly game of Mark cards. Cheating in the suburbs. <laughs> yeah, that's when you came in. Well, you no know, wonder he was so mad. Rob, you know what we ought to do? We ought to drive over there and explain it to them, just as we did to Sally. Oh, honey, nobody believe us. Well, Sally did. Yeah, but I'm not out ten bucks. <laughs> well, we'll give them back their money. Oh, that wouldn't work. I'm going to have to face the fact there's going to be one guy walking around this community telling everybody I'm a card shark and a crook. The cops. Rob! Lou! Who? Lou! Ooh. Oh, Lou, I'm glad you came back. Yeah, well, I only came back because we took the wrong coats. But as long as I'm here, I might as well tell you the reason I walked out of here. Well, you made it very clear. You called me a, a card sheet. But there was another reason. Well, what was it? As you know, Rob, I happen to be a former district attorney. And as a former district attorney, I should have... Well, you were embarrassed because you didn't notice we were playing with Mark cards, I'll bet. Well, wouldn't you be? Yeah, I sure would. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the reason, huh? Yes, that's the reason. Yes, that's the reason. And the other reason he walked out is because he happens to be a big, fat, sore loser. Right, darling? Well, it depends on how you look at it. And he always grabs the wrong coat so that he can come back later and have an excuse to apologize. Yes, and we just did that, so now let's get back to the table and play poker with my cards. <laughs> If you want to be a good neighbor, you better lose a few hands. Right. It's dealer's choice, folks, and any card that Lou gets is wild. Now, that's pretty good for openers. <laughs> right now, let's play poker. No, sir. Come on, come on, come on. Let's play cards. I haven't got all night. How many cards do you want? Lou. Boy, if I ever get two cards alike, I'm going to have them made up into bookends. <laughs> See what the cards will hold for Mr. Lucky. Richie, what are you doing up again? I can't oh. sleep. Can I have a drink of water? More water? Is this a kid or a camel? <laughs> Luke, I'll take one card. All righty, one card. Right. Keep that, Daddy. The king of hearts is good. Let's get our coats and start oh, that again. There's got to be an explanation. These are your cards we're playing with. Oh. Rich, how did you know that was a king of hearts? I saw in his glasses. What? <laughs> He's right, Lou. I can see in your glasses. We'll play without glasses then. Right, everybody off with the glasses. Right. 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 Right.